Reserva Church. Thank you once again for joining us today in our Sabbath worship. I pray that we will experience God's delight and joy and rest as we worship and praise Him. Today our worship will be a little different from the previous Sabbaths because today we will have more songs. That means that wherever you are at home, together we can sing along uh, to more songs and hymns uh, today. Now, as we continue, let me kindly share with you an uncle verse that has been a constant reminder to me of God's faithfulness. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23, it says, And let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Yes, friends and brethren, our God is a faithful God. And He is not only a faithful God, He is a faithful God who lives. And so for our opening hymn uh, today, let us uh, join together in singing the hymn, Because He Lives. <laughs> can face tomorrow. Friends and brethren, I pray that the message of this hymn gives us the assurance of our security in Jesus, our Savior, who is alive 
and who is coming back again. Let us pray. Our most gracious and loving Father in heaven, thank you for the Sabbath. Thank you that although we have been away from our church building for a number of Sabbaths now, but wherever we are, we can continue to come together in worship and in Christ. And thank you that we have a living God. Because He lives, because Jesus lives, we can face tomorrow. No matter the uh, uncertainties that we are facing right now in the midst of this crisis, we have the certainty and security in Jesus, our Savior, who is alive. And so bless us as we continue with our worship and with our praise today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The next part of our worship today is a kind of a short welcome and a Sabbath greeting from a family. And then uh, some of our uh, children will uh, share to us uh, the uncle verses that they hope will encourage you and me. You know, wherever you are, whatever we are going through right now in this uh, crisis. So here we go, and uh, I hope it's going to be a blessing uh, to you. Loves you, Jesus loves me, Jesus loves each and every one of us, everybody. Welcome, welcome, have a blessed Sabbath day. Happy Sabbath. I will lift my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. Help comes from the Lord, who made heavens and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Psalms 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Thank you. For he orders his angels to protect you wherever you go. Psalm 91 Philippines chapter chapter 4 verse 13 I can do all things in Christ who who strengthens me Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 Fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Our very short study today, yes, I'm hoping that it's going to be short, uh, because as I have uh, said already, I hope that today we can uh, sing more songs together. But before we do the songs, let me kindly share with you a few thoughts from uh, Psalm 23rd. Now, you have uh, probably heard a sermon or a number of sermons already in the last few weeks that we have 
been in this lockdown uh, because this chapter is a beloved a chapter in Psalms and uh, a lot of you, including myself, I consider this as an anchor chapter uh, during this crisis. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going uh, to preach a sermon from uh, Psalm 23rd. But allow me to share a few of my uh, thoughts uh, with you. And of course, if it becomes a sermon, uh, please don't mind me. But here we go anyway. Let us begin. The Lord is my shepherd. Let me kindly highlight something very personal here. To David, the Lord God is his personal shepherd. And just like David, I can claim the same. I can say that the Lord is my shepherd. He is not simply our shepherd, but he is my shepherd. And you can claim him as such as well. And let me add something here, that as my shepherd, I belong to him. And I am his property. And so therefore, my shepherd can do whatever he pleases to do with me. And so here's the question. What does he do? Well, he continues on to say that he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides the still waters. You know, most of the times... I really do not know what I need. But I am happy that I have a shepherd who knows what's best for me, and he makes me and he leads me. And then he restores my soul. You know, sometimes I go astray. But when that happens, he searches for me, and he brings me back, and then he restores me back into the fold again, into his fold again. And yes, there are times when I have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But I will fear no evil. You know why? Because my shepherd is with me. And how about the rod and the staff? Oh, they are there to comfort me. You know, my shepherd carries the rod and the staff to protect me and to guide me. And this valley of the shadow of death, this is not my final destination. I am just walking through. I am just passing through. And as I walk through this valley of the shadow of death, my shepherd is with me. And even when I am surrounded by enemies, my shepherd makes sure that I am abundantly provided and that even my cup runs over. And wherever I go, my shepherd's goodness and mercy will follow me. You know, here's a beautiful picture as I follow the shepherd, his goodness and mercy will follow me. This is who my shepherd will be all the days of my life. And then I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You know, to end this chapter with his most beautiful assurance that today, tomorrow, and for eternity, I have the constancy of my shepherd's presence. He is always there, my shepherd. The first song that we will uh, sing along today, sing along with today, is a special item from Shannon and Aaron. And the song is entitled, You Are Here. Let us sing along with them in this beautiful song. God bless.
stop working You never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working Keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you Friends and brethren, God is our way maker, He is our miracle worker, our promise keeper, and light in the darkness. That is who He is. The next uh, song that we will sing along with is a song from uh, Scott Michael Bennett. Again, we would like to thank him for uh, allowing uh, churches uh, to use his songs. And they have been a blessing uh, to many. And so here we go, a rendition of the hymn, I Surrender All. to Jesus mm, I surrender humbly at his feet I bow worldly pleasures all forsaken take
I surrender all. This is who we must become, especially in this time of a crisis. Is someone who surrenders all to Jesus, someone who will ever love and trust Him, someone who will say, All to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Our next song uh, today is from Terence. Uh, he sang this uh, song in April of last year in our uh, church building during one of our uh, Sabbath worships. Uh, that was a year ago now. And so many things have uh, happened already. You know, as a church, we have uh, lost a few of our beloved members. And now we've uh, temporarily closed our uh, building and then there's a lot of uh, waiting and uh, going on right now there is the wait for the lockdown to be lifted and there is a wait again to uh, see or hug our uh, loved ones and uh, family members who have been uh, physically separated uh, from us as a church of course there is the wait for us to go back to our church building again and be able to physically worship there uh, together uh, to be able to shake others hands and uh, uh, to be able to greet one another with a happy sabbath and of course there is the wait for this uh, crisis to be over yes there is a lot of uh, waiting going on but let me kindly say that there is no way that is bigger than our waiting for Jesus to come again. But while we wait, is the message of the song. Until then, my heart will go on singing. So let us sing along with Terence in the song, Until Then. When 
the day is awaking When sunlight through darkness Shadows breaking The Jesus will come In the fullness of glory To receive from the world His own Maybe a noonday Maybe a twilight Maybe patience The darkness of midnight Will burst into light In the blaze of His glory When Jesus receives His own but until then, my heart will go on singing. Until then, with joy, I'll carry on. Until the day my eyes behold the city, yeah, yeah, yeah. my heart will sing. Till Jesus calls me home Even so come Lord Jesus Oh what a delight If I go without dying No pain, no sorrow no death, no crying Caught up through the clouds With Him in glory When Jesus receives His own But until then My heart will go on singing until then, with joy, I'll carry on. Until the day my eyes behold the city, yes, Lord. My heart will sing till Jesus calls me home. Until then, my heart will go on singing. Until then, with joy, joy, I'll carry on. Until the day my eyes behold the city, my heart will sing. To Jesus calls me home Until the day my eyes behold the city Yes, Lord, my heart will sing To Jesus, my Jesus calls me home Oh!
Thank you, Lord. Thank you that in you I have my shepherd. That in you, my brothers and sisters and my friends, wherever they are right now, they have a shepherd, a personal shepherd. Thank you that in the songs that we sung today, we are reminded that you are constantly present with us. That we have a way maker, a miracle worker, a promise keeper, our light in the darkness that is trying to overwhelm the world right now. And thank you that in our waiting, until then, our hearts can go on singing. We have reasons to praise, we have reasons to uh, be happy, we have reasons to rejoice in the present. But thank you that we always have this hope in a Jesus. And so I pray that Lord bless each one of us today. Thank you for this Sabbath, thank you for the rest and the delight that we experience from you today. But not only this Sabbath, Lord, I pray that every day, every day, you bless each one of us and you be present in our lives. For this we pray in the lovely name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Happy Sabbath, Church, and again, thank you for uh, joining us today. Uh, please, um, it's a very important announcement. And next Sabbath, we won't have uh, this uh, streaming that uh, we have been uh, doing in uh, the last uh, number of Sabbaths already. Because next Sabbath, there is going to be an all Irish Mission online day of fellowship. So that's the 2nd of May. Uh, please keep that in mind. All Irish Mission online day of fellowship. In the coming days, uh, this week, uh, we will uh, send out uh, more details and more information uh, about next Sabbath and how you can join in in the online uh, fellowship. All right? So please, uh, and let us pray for that uh, because uh, we haven't uh, done this before. This is going to be the first time and uh, we don't know what to expect. But I know that God will be with us and it's going to be a blessed a Sabbath day uh, for all. Now, a few quick announcements as well. Uh, this afternoon at 2 o'clock, uh, there is going to be a Zoom fellowship for young people. Uh, we're calling that the Youth Room. And so to all our young people, uh, please join us at 2 o'clock uh, this afternoon for our uh, time of uh, praise, worship, and uh, fellowship uh, as well. And then at 3.30, uh, there is going to be a Bible study a group as well, a Bible study time. Uh, so if you're free and available, please uh, join us, all right, in our uh, Bible study uh, together. Again, uh, the information for uh, the things and events and programs that are happening uh, during the week, uh, you can find them in our a Facebook page and group and a website, all right, and uh, I'll be sending you a text and messages uh, as well, all right, and there is the uh, uh, Belfast uh, newsletter uh, as well. So again, thank you, and bye-bye, and God bless you all. Mm -hmm.